So for this doily, it's about 9 cm. Same with this side, 9 cm. And I just used one thread. And if you want bigger, you can use a bigger thread, bigger yarn. It's up to you. But for me, I like this side. For this doily, I use a uh, thread. And you can use any kind of thread or yarns that you like. And the uh, crochet hook size is 2 millimeters. And you will need scissors and yarn needle. Alright, let's get started. First, you need to make a slip knot. And then make um, six chains. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then slip stitch into the first chain that we did right here. Insert the hook into the first chain, pull up the loop, and pull it through. And now it look like the ring. Okay, for row one, you need to chain three. One, two, and three. First three chains count as double crochet. So you need to make 15 more double crochet into this ring space. Okay, this is the second double crochet. So include the first three chain, you will have 16 double crochets into this ring space, okay? Alright, so keep making double crochets and I will meet you guys when you have total of 16 double crochets. When you come to the end, you're gonna slip stitch into the third chain that we did. So this is first chain, second chain, and third chain. Insert the hook into the third chain. Pull up the loop and pull it through. Okay, for row two, you're gonna chain three. First three chains count as double crochet. And then you need to make two more chains. One, two, and then double crochet into next stitch. And chain two. And double crochet into next stitch. And chain two, double crochet into next stitch. And chain two, and double crochet into next stitch. See, we're just repeating the same pattern. Okay. So next, you're just gonna chain two and then double crochet into next stitch and chain two, double crochet into next stitch. Okay, all right, keep making that till you come to the end, I will meet you guys there. When you come to the end of second row, you will have total of 16 double crochet stitches. And now you need to make uh, the last two chain, okay? The chain space. And then slip stitch into the third chain that we did. So this is first, second, and third. Insert the hook into the third chain, pull up the loop, and pull it through. That's what this look like. For row three, you're gonna chain three. First three chains count as double crochet, and you need to make three more chains. So one, two, and three. And double crochet, into double crochet stitch that we did right here and 
and chain three and double crochet into double crochet stitch that we did and chain three double crochet into double crochet stitch that we did So you're just repeating the same pattern. So next you're gonna chain three and double crochet right here into double crochet stitch and chain three and double crochet into next double crochet stitch till you come to the end and I will meet you guys there. When you come to the end, you need to make uh, the last three chains and then slip stitch into the third chain that we did so this is first, second, and third. Insert the hook into the third chain. Pull up the loop and pull it through. Okay. And for row four, you're gonna make a slip stitch into this gap. Okay. So just insert the hook into this gap. Pull up the loop and pull it through. And now you're gonna chain three. For three chains, cut add double crochet. So you need to make four more double crochet into this gap. So includes the first three chain, it will be five double crochets. Three, four, and five. And then five double crochets into next gap. So this row just double crochet only. Okay. You're not gonna make chain or anything. So in each gap, you need to make five double crochet in there. See? All right, so keep making that till you come to the end and I will meet you guys there. When you come to the end, you're gonna make slip stitch into the third chain that we did. So this first, second, and third slip stitch into the third chain. And for row five, you're gonna chain three. For three chains, count as double crochet, and then four more chains. So one, two, three, and four, and then double crochet into the same chain stitch here. Yarn over, insert the hook into the same stitch. Like double crochet. Alright, and then now double crochet into this little gap here. Okay. Yarn over, insert the hook into the gap, okay, not in the stitch. Double crochet and then chain four. One, two, three, and four. And then double crochet into the same space okay and then double crochet into next gap the little gap here set the needle into that gap and then chain four and then double crochet into the same space Okay, and then double crochet into next gap. And chain four. And double crochet into the same space. Okay, that's what it look like. So you're gonna make the same pattern okay in one gap you're gonna make uh, double crochet chain four and then double crochet all right so keep repeating this till you come to the end of the rows and I will meet you guys there when you come to the end you need to make slip stitch into the third chain that we did so this is first second and third insert the hook into the third chain up the loop and pull it through 
this was this look like and then 406 in each gap here we're gonna make six double crochet in there okay this is final row so so first you don't need to make any chain so you just yarn over insert the hook into this gap and pull up the loop oops sorry pull up the loop pull out two loops pull out another two loops so that is first double crochet so you need to make six double crochet into that gap okay when you have six double crochets you're gonna slip stitch into this little gap here see this the little gap right here insert the hook in there pull up the loop and pull it through okay and then next gap the big gap here we're gonna make six double crochet in there so yarn over insert the hook do the same double crochet just normal double crochet till you have six double crochet in there when you have six double crochet you're gonna slip stitch into this little gap here okay and then six double crochets into next gap the big gap And when you have six double crochet, you're gonna slip stitch into this little gap. Set the hook, pull up the loop, and pull it through. Okay, so you just kinda repeat the same pattern. So in next gap here, six double crochet in there, slip stitch here, little gap here. And then six double crochet into the big gap and slip stitch into the little gap and six double crochet in big gap and slip stitch into the little gap around till you come to the end and I will meet you guys there when you come to the end we're gonna slip stitch into the last little gap here so insert the hook into the last gap pull up the loop and pull through okay and then cut the thread and little uh, leave a little bit of tail and bring the yarn needle and I'm gonna insert my needle right here gonna hide the tail Okay, so make sure it's secure and then you just trim the tail. Okay, congratulations. Okay, so yeah, if you like this video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe on my channel. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.